We are all taught at school that the earth is comprised of 70% water and 30% land mass. So when you look at an image like this globe or an atlas, they will show you the complete opposite. It seems they have flipped it around, making the land mass 70%. And the oceans 30%. No matter how you look at it, it just doesn't look like 70 to 30 ratio. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is part of the United States Department of Commerce. On their website, it says, the Pacific Ocean is the largest and deepest ocean basin on Earth, covering more than 60 million square miles or 155 million square kilometers and averaging a depth of 13,000 feet or 4,000 meters. Covering more than 30% of the Earth's surface, the Pacific Ocean is the largest water mass on the planet, with a surface area of more than 60 million square miles, or 155 million square kilometers. This ocean basin is larger than the land mass of all the continents combined and it contains almost twice as much water as the world's second largest body of water, the Atlantic Ocean. This is the worldatlas.com and on the Geography Statistics of the United States of America, they tell us that the land mass of America is 3,537,436 square miles or 9,161,923 square kilometers. So in context, the Pacific Ocean is 16 times larger than the landmass of America. Therefore, the, the Pacific Ocean is really huge and not represented correctly, either on the globe or any atlas. These facts alone disprove the 24-hour 24, 24 circling sun on the popular AE map and on the globe. The Sun also needs to change in angular size on the AE map as it is approaching and receding on sunrise and sunset respectively. Also on the heliocentric model, the Earth is supposed to be on an elliptical orbit around the Sun. In this case, it does not matter the size of the Sun, so at aphelion and at perihelion, the Earth is furthest from the Sun, and we should see a, a difference in angular size. The sun is projected locally for everyone, creating the day and night length that we have today. The sun does travel from the Tropic of Cancer to the Tropic of Capricorn and back again creating one solar year. The sun also causes the seasons. However, it is not going around in a circle over a circle Earth, nor is it a giant furnace millions of miles away, the Earth being going around it. 
The earth is much bigger than we are being told, and the sun is a projection, giving us the precise hours, daylight, and seasons. The earth is a flat and motionless plain with hills, mountains, and valleys. Thank you for watching.